Hi, my name is Renee, and welcome to my Base Cave channel. I did the unthinkable. I ordered two six string bases from AliExpress, and I'm going to show you what I got. For those who don't know it, AliExpress is a Chinese retail platform with many, many sellers, very similar to eBay. Sister site Alibaba caters for wholesales, whereas AliExpress is made for the end consumer like you and me. You can get anything from fishing gear to kids' toys. The products are sourced directly from China. That's why the prices are so low. And I mean, really, really cheap. But you have to be realistic about the quality. You won't always get A stock and some offers are too good to be true. Use common sense. The mobile app seems a bit clunky and rough around the edges and so is the product information and communication with the sellers. Takes a bit of investigation around which seller to pick, the buyer protection, I recommend using PayPal and how to set up delivery windows and so on. It is the wild west, scammers and con artists are out there but if you're careful, read reviews and communicate with the seller, you should be good. A few purchases did not work for me, but I always got my money back. It was not until long that I discovered base gear on AliExpress and I could not believe my eyes. They had everything from Fender, Music Man to Ivaness and also very noble looking instruments like Alembic, Ken Smith and Fodera. Everything for just a few hundred bucks. What is going on there? Not only these big names and builds, you can also request to customize. Logo, no logo, some other logo, string spacing, color and finish at no extra charge. What is going on there? I can assume you don't get the original or the real deal, rather something that comes from the same factory, builders gone rogue, or something that didn't pass the quality control. So, I wanted a six string bass. The problem was, I knew what I wanted. One thing mostly, 19 millimeters string spacing at the bridge, also known as the fender spacing. And this is a problem. Nearly every six string bass has 16 mil, 17 mil, sometimes 18, but not the 19. Only one bass has it that I know of. It's the Yamaha GP2 John Paddy Tucci model. Five to six thousand Australian dollars at least, price tag and a long wait time. And that's a biggie. I will still mostly play and jam with my Fender basses. So having a six string bass is more of a toy venture and the Yamaha is way too expensive for that. So I turned to AliExpress. I can still remember the morning when I saw this bass on AliExpress. These inlays are unique to the Yamaha GP2 John Paddy Tucci model. For 700 Australian dollars, maybe a recheck instrument. So I acted fast and hit the buy now button. I did not confirm any measurements. Later, I realized the seller actually hasn't built the instrument yet. Falsely marked the instrument as shipped. Confusion, no tracking. But against all odds, the instrument made it to my doorstep. The disappointment was big. The string spacing I was so desperately after was the wrong one. And it's safe to say it's not a Yamaha. Although this rugged logo says otherwise. The component combination just does not exist as a Yamaha base product. Let's start at the top. The head is very heavy. The instrument is not balanced as the JP2 would pride itself for. Tuners are heavy and super hard, if not impossible to turn. The neck is quite bulky and thick. Feels unusual, but you can get used to it. The actual woodwork, the inlays and the frets are actually okay. Also the Yamaha JP2 is extra long scale. This one is just a normal scale, but something I could have lived with. Moving to the body. 
actually looks good a few rough edges nice wood grain take a look at the truss road cavities two truss roads which i'm not sure if they actually do anything not the nicest work i'm not concerned about it but not the yamaha quality that's for sure the bridge the big letdown with 60 mil spacing not the 19 one so it's very narrow electronics are very bad you can hear the noise in the background on the lack of shielding the three band equalizer does something but nothing amazing and it's missing a neutral position playing the instrument the narrow string spacing just is not for me Bass doesn't sound too bad once you get used to it, but it's not a revelation. Hear the bridge pick up. Slap sounds okay, a bit, a lot of highs and no mids and body behind it, but it's okay. String spacing makes it very hard. So the overall verdict is, what a shame, I cannot use this instrument, I'm looking for a lucky buyer. Might be suitable for a six string bass novice who wants to discover if six strings for him or her could replace the tuners. And you could replace the electronics and you actually might get an okay instrument but not the instrument for me sadly this space is a completely different story i discovered this fine looking fly young bass a brand I have not heard before except on Aliexpress. It looked as if it could have the right spacing and with 350 bucks, ridiculously cheap. Having learned my lesson, I contacted the seller to confirm the 90 mil spacing. The seller requested the longest shipping time of about four months. I asked a few times if I really want these dimensions, but I remained adamant about it. I was close to canceling. The seller asked for an unofficial extension of a week. I asked for photos as proof for the 19 mil, belated tracking. Long story short, it finally arrived. Immediately I saw these are the dimensions I was after. Wide spacing at the back, very broad neck, reasonably thin. Playing on it felt immediately comfortable. Notice the extra spacing next to the edge strings, which saves you from pulling strings over the fretboard. Finally, I base addressing this, and it also feels right and does not slow me down. The base is also reasonably balanced. You have to nudge it a bit to fall over. You could maybe try and find super light tuners. These double truss rods are also good design. The overall weight is quite heavy, 5.3 kgs. No surprise for a six string though, but slightly lighter than the other one. The body looks really classy at first glance after closer inspection leaves a bit to be desired. See this laminated wood lines quite walky. The wood looks spectacular but actually has holes and discolorations in it. But in my son's words do I look like I care. The bridge has individual saddles. This has probably enabled them to build this string spacing. Look at the copper line underneath the bridge, which shows they care about shielding and grounding, which leads us to the electronics. Well, I think you can only see them as a placeholder. It is abysmal. It is supposed to be three band active electronics with a passive switch. The only thing working is the bridge pickup in active and passive, nothing else. The bridge pickup only works under the four middle strings only faintly on the B and C. Someone just put a four string magnet in it. It's almost funny. Overall, the playability of this bass is so good. 
I ordered the fretless version of it on the same day. The imperfections on the body and no issue and the pickups with the electronics can be replaced. To be honest, I almost always end up replacing them, even on expensive instruments. Super light tuners might also be a way to get the weight down. Also try finer sounding strings. So, thumbs up! In general, business is done quite differently on AliExpress. Very different to buying an instrument off the shelf in a normal music shop or a regular online store. The buying process is not a straight line, but if you're sensible, read reviews, communicate and are willing to compromise, you can get amazing results. Being friendly and polite helps, but also clear and firm. If you think you're being taken for a ride, demand a refund. AliExpress has strike rules for offenders, it offers buyer protection and the system holds on to the money until the buyer has confirmed the receipt. The name of the seller can also be a clue. If it sounds too generic, it is probably a new seller and more likely to be a scammer. About the quality. The fake Yamaha is wasted money. When you are done fixing it up, electronics, pickups, tuners, you can get a genuine low range six string with quality assurance plus warranty for the same money. So not worth it. The Fly Young bass was a success on the other hand. Not a big brand fake for starters. It is solid craft work and has the measurements that would have cost me thousands. I have since replaced pickups and electronics with a stunning result. All up, the bass, shipping, new pickups, I stayed just under a thousand Australian dollars and that's a bargain. Watch my future video how I flip it into a killer base. I hope you enjoyed this video. It would have helped me at the time. Stay tuned on the base. <laughs>